Hi, this is a cafe management system developed in Python. Okay, so let me show you guys how this works. When you click on the check buttons here, you can see it enables the entry there, and you can select whatever checkbox you intend to enter your order. Right here, we have the coffee different different type of coffee right there and here we have different types of cakes so let's see all oh, those are your orders in place okay just select any of them and enter your order and that's it and then all you then need to do is click on just click on the total right there the total button is right here so click on that and that is what you get you can also get your receipts if you want that's your receipt for the order you get the date or the reference and the orders that are made and the cost right here the cost of each the cost of drinks cakes service charge and the total that's the tax to the uh, subtotal and total right there the system is also designed to restart and when you click on restart, restart as you can see all the checkbox were unchecked okay when you check the checkbox enter whatever data in there if you click on reset that is what happened okay entering widget become disabled and the checkbox becomes unchecked there's been a lot of time spent developing these very tutorials so what i would do now is take you guys straight into python and we develop a fresh new program with uh, by importing some of the libraries and so on so what there's one or two things i'd like to point out right here in the receipt you will see the dates that's from one of the libraries as well I did not put the time this time around so let me just take you guys straight into party now then we'll put one of these together okay click on the exit button and there on the exit bu button you have the option or the choice of selecting no you don't want to exit the system or you can always click on yes and exit the system all right guys so let's start a new program now. We we'll go to file, new. The first thing I would do is to import the following from Python. So from Python, we import as follows. Tick into import it all. There. I will also import the ran random function. Might as well copy this. I will also import the random function because I'll be using that for my reference. Then time. I may have to embed the time somewhere. And um, let's import date right there. Then give my system a name. Let's call it root. You can call it app or whatever you want to call it. And the root let me set the geometry equals I go for geometry 1350 by 750 plus zero plus zero there now let me give my system a name give it as a title so for the title I'll just call that cafe management systems All right the background of my main program let me configure that to black configure background so background equals black okay close that now let me just close my system here dot and ask it to loop right there so if i save this now let's say we just call it cafe system 
I'll just copy that and save it right away. Save as. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. save that right away and let's give that a shot and you guys see what we've done so far oh that should be equals all right let's do try again and there that is my interface right now so close that and the next thing I will do now the next thing will be to let's create the frames now the body of the frame, I'll divide this, the frame into maybe two or three different parts. So, right here, this is just a name. I call it the top. That will be the top of my frame right there. And this is the widget for frame. So, the top, let's set the width to 1350. And we set the height to, let's make that just 50. Or maybe 100 let's go for 100 and the border I'm gonna make that 14 and make that let's raise it up all right now let me pack these tops okay pack and set the side to be on top there so that is my frame right there okay that's for the top so let me set all the two frames so one would be for the left side and the other one would be for the right side so let's change this to left and this we change this to right there now you see these names let me just change that to f1 frame 1 i'll change this to frame 1 as well and change this to f2 okay to pack it change that to f2 as well now we change this to 900 and this to 650 let me change the border in this case to 8 okay so the same thing here the border will be eight the height 650 and the width let's go for 440 and that's all there is to that so i have one two three frames so if i run the program save and run this is what you get one frame two frame and the third frame right there so i will now divide all of this frame divide this into two parts divide this into four different parts as well okay let's do that now so if you notice the parent of the frame is the root 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 and root okay now define one frame i'll call that frame or just call that f1a or let's go for f1a yeah f1a frame f1a equals frame you must enter the name okay let's just copy this instead of typing All right, it's going to be a child of F1, which is this very frame. Now, the width, in this case, will be 900. The height will be 330. The border remain the same. Arm relief remain the same. Why the size? That would be top. And change this one to F. 1a so that is that done now f12 uh, f21 let's call it f21 f21a 
with the f21 a I'll just change this to 1 to 320 okay change this to 6 and change this to bottom let this be at the bottom there so I have these two frames taken care of now okay now let's create another frame for this one this one right here okay this is child of frame 1 f1 okay now let's create for 2 f2 okay, maybe I'll just speed that up now that you guys get the idea okay guys here are the lines of code for the frames so if I run it, let me run it so that you see what I've done so far. Like I said, there will be a title here, and there will be one here, one frame here, another one here, one here, and one here. Okay, so that is the frame so far created. Okay, so let me just do one more thing to these frames. Okay, we need to do one more. Just one more thing to this frame right here. We just change the colors of those frames. So let's say top dot configure. Let's do that in the lower case. So that would be top dot configure and let's say back color background color equals black there okay let me do the same thing for the other two right at the top I'm talking of frame F1 and F2 so this one will be F1 and F2 Okay, if you can still recollect the first three frames right at the top right here there they are so I've changed their color okay, let's just so you can see everything now let's take it down so that you see all of the frames and that will be all for the frames so let's run it before we start the development of the other component there we go Okay, so let's close that. Now, right at the top, I would like to enter a title there. So right here, let me enter my title here. Right there. Okay, I'll call that LBL info. Okay, and equals label and I want it inside the frame tops okay there down maybe the font let's change the font to area and comma let's set it to about 70 and make that bold and just close that the text that I want on it equals let's go for cafe management systems okay enter another comma and set the other set the property of the border style property make that equals 10 and LBL info there. Yeah, put that here. And now we also I need to also enter equals there. Okay, hopefully that should do it. Let's see, run it and see. There. Okay. So guys, with that, I'll call it the end of the very first part of this tutorial. And then the uh, second part of the tutorial, we'll try to speed up the whole process and uh, populate the frames. See you guys in the second part.